Hello everyone, today I'm doing a review of the Galen Leather Tilma River Notebook. Um, it's called the Everyday Notebook and let's check it out. So I have two sizes here, it's available in three sizes, A6, B6, and A5. And I'm going to show you the B6 and A5 today. And this is a leather notebook and let's check it out. So it comes in this really beautiful gift box. It's beautifully designed in my opinion and it's really well thought through. Look at this. You pull right here and then it opens up and this is actually magnetic closure. Look at that. And I'm really impressed with this. I actually played around with this earlier so I really thought that was great. And it says <clears throat> the Galen Leather brand of stationery celebrated for quality and ingenuity. And there's a lot of thought and that goes into this product in general. Like I'm really impressed with the way everything's designed. And let's get this out. So this is the forest green. It's made from crazy horse leather. So it's vegetable tan cow leather. It's 400 pages. As you can see right here, it says Galen leather, 400 pages. And it's made in Turkey. It's blank Toma River paper. And the dimensions on this one are since it's a B6, it's 12.8 by 18.2 cent centimeters or 5 by 7 inches. And it's a soft cover notebook, as you can see. And I want to show you that it lies really flat. Look at that. See, it lies super flat. It's really great design. It's hand stitched, so it's stitched and then glued to the binding here, the extra leather binding, and you can actually bend this over completely, and it lies super flat still, like it's really nice, and it feels really durable and sturdy. So I'm really impressed with this binding. And um, let's see if I can find the stitches for you somewhere, so you can see that as well. can't find the middle part here. Just give me a second. Nope. Of course when you try to find it, you can't. There it is. So here's the stitching right there. You can see it's one, two, three, four, five times it has been stitched. And it feels like it will not come apart anytime soon. And then the corners around it here on the outside. And then the paper li lines up perfectly with the binding, which I always love when the paper does that. And here you can see the beautiful texture of the leather. And it has a really nice feel to it, super smooth. And then the paper is actually just plain white. It's not off-white or anything. It's just really white, 52 gram Toma River paper. And then let's check out <clears throat> what it comes with. It comes with this blotting paper. It's actually not paper, it's like, I said, it feels like almost leather to me. Excuse the car alarm that just went off. I think the camera picks up on that. Um, and I already tried it out, so it works really well with fountain pen ink. And it's super nice touch that they added this with the actual product. And you can also use this as a writing mat. And it comes with line guide. There's the logo right here, and it tells you it's a 7 millimeter here, and then 10 millimeter, and then you have the graph guide as well with 5 millimeter graph, and then 10 millimeter graph. So it comes with quite a few extras, which is very generous in my opinion. So I did all of that comes in the box. Let's check out the larger one as well. In the same beautiful, beautiful gift box. That is magnetic. Can't get over that, how nice that is. It's almost like an Apple product. Here is the brown one. So it is available in two colors, and as I said, three sizes. Let's put the box away. And it has a little bit of a distressed look to it, and again, it comes with the blotter, this beautiful mat, and the line guides as well. Of course, in the right size this time as well. This is A5 size here, and here are the two compared to each other. So the A5 is 5.7 by 8.3 inches, and then um, in centimeters it's 14.5 by 21 centimeters. And it says on the website that it is 2 centimeters um, thick, but I 
looked with the line guide. I think it's only like 1.5 when you check this out here. So this would be one centimeter and two would be the second line up and I think it's about 50 millimeter. Anyways, so that's how thick it is. Again, 400 pages of beautiful crisp white Toma River paper. And then again here embossed in the back you have the logo just like on the green one as well. And they're all handmade in Turkey. And here is the comparison of the two sizes lying down. And then let's line them up too as well. There we go. I just love how flat these lie when you ride on them. So we get a really nice riding experience. And then I think every journal looks slightly different since it is genuine leather. And let's check out a writing sample. I only did a writing sample in the little guy since they are both the exact same paper. 52 gram Tome River paper as I mentioned already. So, and as you can see, uh, I didn't let it dry long enough. That's the one thing with Tome River paper. It has a little bit longer drying time, especially with a fountain pen. So, and I should have put the blotter in there to prevent that, but oh well. I mean, maybe you can learn from my mistake. So here we have a pencil, then we have a ballpoint pen, we have a gel pen, that's actually a hybrid pen between ballpoint and gel, the Unibolt jet stream, and we have a couple um, of gel pens here, 0.7 millimeter and 0.5 millimeter. And then we have a roller ball here. And then down here we have the Palette Metropolitan fountain pen, diamond marine ink, and this uh, was special about Tome River paper is that it's super fountain pen friendly. It does not feather at all. If you fountain pen enthusiast, I'm sure you know about Tome River paper. If you don't, definitely go check it out. It gives um, a lot of ink colors, color variations, and a lot of um, colors will also get some sheen to them that they wouldn't on other paper. So if you love fountain pens, you're really going to enjoy the Tome River paper. And it is um, really thin paper. As I said, it's only 52 gram, but it is quite durable when you write on it. I have not have any issues with tearing it, but since it is only 52 gram, you do get a lot of ghosting, but nothing will bleed through since it is, as I said, really fountain pen friendly paper. And it's almost like, I don't know how to do it. I'm really impressed with 52 gram paper not bleeding through any ink. That's pretty amazing to me, but I don't know how this paper is made, but it's, it's pretty cool and it has this like, like really like thin Bible paper quality to it. So if ghosting bothers you a lot, this might not be the right paper for you, then you might want to look for something thicker. But if it doesn't, I think it's a great option for fountain pen lovers. Um, yeah, despite all the ghosting here, which I don't really mind. But if you do, then, you know, it's up to you. I think it's an absolutely gorgeous notebook. It comes with a ton of extras and ton of features. I think it's also a really good price point, even though it is higher. You get a lot with it. Um, Tome River paper is more expensive, but here you actually get a genuine leather cover with the notebook on top of it, which I think is really great. It's one of the prettiest Tome River paper notebooks that I have seen, and I'm really impressed with it. Just want to show you the like cover pages here. Absolutely gorgeous. And as I said, it lies super, super flat. Let's see if I missed anything here in my notes. Give me a second. Nope. As I mentioned, it is 400 pages each, so you get a lot of paper for your money. And it's still really thin, because most um, notebooks the size would be only having 200 or 250 pages, but these guys have 400, so it lasts you a long time. If you have any questions about the notebooks, or the brand, or anything else, feel free to leave me a comment. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more notebook videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.